Welcome to ACTL 1101 Introduction to Actuarial Studies. I am also delighted to welcome you to the Bachelor of Actuarial Studies. N2 requirements are extremely high and you can be proud of having been admitted to the degree. Do you still struggle with being able to explain well to your friends and family what an actuary is and what they do? Hopefully, by the end of the course, you will be able to talk about it with passion and expertise. My name is Benjamin Avanzi. I was born in Switzerland, which is also where I got my actuarial training. I was chairman of the board of a Swiss pension fund before finishing my PhD and moving to Australia in 2008. I have two children, both born in Australia. The main goal of this course is to give you an overview of what actuarial studies are. This will be done by giving you a taste of the fundamental tools, by equipping you with the computing tool you will be using in the next few years, R, Importantly, by discussing what the main areas of practice are and also by discussing some of the issues they are currently facing. This overview should help you put all the things you will learn in Level 2 and Level 3 ACTL courses in context. The key word here is context. It is really hard to learn all those techniques if you don't know why they are important. The Level 4 ACTL courses will wrap it all again, but that's a few years down the track. As explained before, the course is a mixture of techniques and context. Lectures balance quantitative and qualitative aspects, as hinted before, technical tools and actuarial practice. In the course map next to me, these are the green and yellow bits, respectively. Tutorials include questions, which you should do in advance, so you can ask questions at the tutorials, as well as discussion questions, Will be, which will be workshopped during the tutorials. Finally, labs have been developed as a primer which develops a mastery of base R, as well as your ability to manipulate and communicate data. Multiple digital resources were developed. For instance, we have interviewed senior actuaries so as to learn directly from the people who are at the top of their game. In time of assessment, you will have weekly R mini assignments, a midterm exam and a final exam. There won't be any major project or assignment this year. The obvious point here is that the course will give you an overview of all the practice areas so you can put your degree in context. Furthermore, when talking about practice areas, we will specifically discuss some of the current issues that the industry is facing. The course structure can be observed from the course map next to me. The caller coding has the following meaning. Green bits are actuarial techniques, mostly maths. Yellow bits are about the practice areas, mostly words. And orange bits are about the R labs, mostly code. The course has weekly two hour lectures, as well as sometimes an extra hour of lectures. The green lectures are traditional, in that this is where you will get your first exposure to the contents. Normally, you won't need to prepare anything in advance for those green lectures. On the other hand, you will have readings to do before the yellow lectures because they are meant to be interactive. The tutorials are almost exclusively green. They help you digest and practice the technical contents seen in the green lectures. There will be exercises you need to do before the tutorials. You will have access to the solutions and you will have an opportunity to ask questions at the start of the tutorial. And you are indeed encouraged to do so. Otherwise, tutorials will focus on discussion questions. The R labs, one and a half hours every week, summarize contents at the start, but will mostly allow you to workshop the contents in small groups and with access to the tutor to help you. I strongly encourage you to attend the R labs. Take this as the one and a half hours you allocate each week to learning the R contents. You won't be able to postpone your learning of R anyway, as there are mini assignments due every week. You might find it daunting to start your first actuarial course. Fair enough. That being said, the goal of this course is really to be a stepping stone and to help you prepare for the level two and three courses. I will guide you throughout the term with weekly emails you will have plenty of opportunities to ask questions and seek help. 
Importantly, we are convinced that all of you can at least pass this course and you are probably all capable of getting at least a credit or a distinction as well. However, you need to put the work in and this is absolutely essential in all actuarial courses. If you want a head start, you could start reading the book about R and install R Studio on your computer and have a play around. A final word of advice. In my experience, a great factor of success at the university is to actually take advantage of consultation times and lectures and tutorials where you can ask questions and test your knowledge informally. Unfortunately, it takes some students years to realize how valuable that is, if they ever realize it at all. We will organize at least two hours of consultation every week, on top of all the timetables face to face that will happen every week. Come and see us. Even better, come with questions. I look forward to meeting you all.